Woman doesn't remember boyfriend after surgery by Daily Dose of Internet. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Because of the anesthesia, she didn't recognize her boyfriend after waking up from surgery. You look a little weird. <laughs> but you're cute. <laughs> yeah. That cute guy's <laughs> kissing me. Anesthesia is super, super powerful. And even then, anesthesia hits everyone differently. For example, I had to get my wisdom teeth removed. I think one was infected. And, uh, you know, the, uh, they uh, did localized anesthesia. I had to do two rounds of local anesthesia, and I still felt that. People go through that same local anesthesia, and they can't feel a thing. It has a different effect on everybody, and that's why, you know, generally people with medical credentials deal with anesthesia because e even then, people can have certain intolerances to certain anesthesia. It is such a just mixed bag and even then you could go under anesthesia but be still fully aware that that one's that one's the uh, the horror part of that one but uh yeah no, anesthesia has a lot of interesting effects on people and sometimes it's cool to see reactions sometimes it's not as long as it's respectful which that was it was super cute and endearing amazing <gasps> he did it he did it you can't say he didn't do it <laughs> i love that man that that is thinking smarter not harder What's that? Oh no. What's that? Amazing. <laughs> this YouTuber sucks. <laughs> oh, this is getting demonetized. I can already tell. Man, your view is going to have a field day with this. Do not do this, okay? If it looks like a barrel, do not do this. I'm just going to say that right out the gate. This probably isn't functional. What I can say is don't do that. There, YouTube man, your view. Are you happy? Oh my god. The mozzarella stick, though. God, I feel that. Sometimes I will just inhale those. I am a fiend for mozzarella sticks. But there was no law stating that he couldn't do this, so he went and built himself a replica World War One tank in his own garage. Yeah. So, this is... I mean... I don't see a reason why you couldn't. I mean, are you driving it on the roads? Are you driving it on public infrastructure? If not, I mean, I don't really see how you couldn't do that. Stuff like that gets a little strange. And I mean, as long as you're not using it, like you can have the cannon up top, right? But if the cannon's not operational, right? I don't see any reason for really anybody to anybody to get upset about that. Are we going to start, like, you know, regulating who can build shelves, right? Like, oh, oh you, well, you can't build, you know, this kind of shelf, or you can't build, you know, X, Y, Z. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's it's Because people can build their own cars, right? You can just get a number of parts and just build your own car from scratch. I think it ends up being more expensive than if you just bought it as is off the lot, right? But it's possible... If you drive it, yeah, as far as I'm aware, you have to register it because you are bringing it. You have to register that vehicle to you. You're driving it on public infrastructure. As far as I'm aware, that's really the only reason to do that. But I'm curious. Do you know about some regulation that I don't? And it could be state by state. It couldn't even be like U.S. federal regulation. It could be just state by state. Very curious on the answer to that. Pretty scary. Artificial intelligence is getting better and better every day, yeah. and all these clips that you're seeing right now that I'm talking over are not real. Uh, they were made by AI. Yeah. Yeah, we're like, a AI is exceeding expectations right now. AI is in itself a very controversial subject. So here's the thing, right? Because we're going to lose out business, like, contractors, um, artists are going to lose out to AI. They already have lost out to AI. There was a very, very controversial post by Wizards of the Coast after doing 1100 layoffs that uh, they made a thing and it had common AI errors where it has plugs that lead nowhere, uh, certain things about the artwork, and it's, you know, oh, well, we haven't affected card art yet. Okay, the fact that you understand how tone deaf that is to lay off a bunch of workers, to lay off artists, and to put out an AI-generated piece, or what is allegedly an AI-generated piece, because, I mean, it could be artistic liberty that the artist took, but at the very least, when it has common AI errors, you have to look at that and go, okay, but you understand how tone-deaf this is, right? So, I mean, I've been saying, not necessarily clamoring for it, but the concept of, does AI need regulation? And, you know, and from the personal side of things, I don't know. From the business side of things, I think there does need to be, you know, clear lines. So, for example, 
Disney, for instance, you know, say if they wanted to use a younger Mark Hamill and, you know, because Mark Hamill, you know, kind of kind of got a little older. You know, he, he's still kicking, though. That man is I, if I can be a tenth of a legend that, that Mark Hamill is, I would love to. That, that'd be that'd be a life fulfilled. And, you know, say, oh, well, we want to use younger Mark Hamill. And they just, you know, use younger Mark Hamill, AI to rate or say if they wanted to use what was it? Uh, Alec Guinness was original Obi-Wan, right? I almost said Baldwin. Uh, Alec Guinness, right? And what if they just used AI generation to make that? How is that fair? Is that fair to use their likeness without their consent? Paperwork, is it fair to say pay them a one-time fee that's very minimalistic, say $200 to have infinite rights to their uh, to their image, right? Like, think about it that way. So I think the question here comes down to, the, it's not the question of where if, if AI will progress or if AI will become predominant. It's already becoming a dominant force. It really is. The question at this point is, do you regulate it or do you not regulate it? And in regulating it, who do you regulate it for? If you don't regulate it, what is the protections that people have against AI taking their job, right? And I, I'm for AI. Don't get me wrong. I love AI. I think it's great. I think the concept of it's cool. And I think anyone that's played Halo, smart AI like Cortana, we're not quite there yet. You know, these are still dummy AI, quote unquote. But uh you know, it is something to consider. It is something if you have even if you have no understanding of AI, I would because of the prevalence other react content creators like Asmongold reacting to a video about RuneScape and how this AI is taking over when in actuality, it's three AI in a trench coat using chat GPT to pull from certain things and two other bots to control the character, right? There's even some misinformation on that. Uh, and a broader spectrum, right? You got people that are, you know, oh, AI is, you know, AI is here. This don't when it's it's three programs, three bots in one. It's not one AI doing this, right? And th these are all things to consider where I just ask the question, why? Educate yourself. We can see AI has gotten to the point that that looks very real, very convincing, and it doesn't have a lot of the telltale, you know, weird hands, weird eyes, uh, plugs that lead to nowhere, right? It doesn't, it's, it's getting better recognizing a lot of that. So it's the next steps that come after this. And I feel that just educating yourself on anything is going to be the right call to do. If you know nothing about AI, the current situation of AI, I would recommend definitely doing your research and doing a deep dive. And if anybody claims, you know, has any brash claims or any wild claims about, you know, AI is doing this, I would definitely make sure that you're sourcing your material, make sure that you're doing, you know, proper citations, all that fun stuff. And just really using reliable and reputable sources to do this. Note that I'm a react content creator right i am reacting to things and i'm talking about this i don't expect you to take my word as law i don't expect you to take everything i say as absolute fact i encourage people to fact check their stuff i encourage people to do that extra research which not a lot of people do on youtube and it's unfortunate <clears throat> i did not know that frogs made this like <laughs> yeah yeah they do <laughs> These birds flew in and stole all the fish he was trying to catch. That's just disrespectful. <laughs> it's raining. The whole house is raining birds. Raining <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you do in that situation, right? That's like, uh, I mean, uh, not that I don't think it would happen. It's like a concept of you're trying to stake out in a deer hunt or something like that. You just get a bunch of, you should like, a family of bears that just moves in and just like you're fine right but you're just like i was literally hunting this deer for three days come on now <laughs> like what do you even do with that <laughs> you're just kind of there you're like i guess I, I guess i just keep going i guess you could move the boat a little bit i guess you could move to a, a uh, spot where maybe the gulls aren't that prevalent right i don't know that's super funny though that, that's super legit That's cool. Nice. This has to be the. I don't have the hand-eye coordination for that. I would have broke that drone hundred percent. I would have crashed that that thing so quick, which is unfortunate because that like stuff like that is super cool. Stuff like that is absolutely worthy of YouTube short content. I don't necessarily think the five hundredth account to re-upload, you know, uh, uh, Stewie from Family Guy trying to uh try in in the drill machine 
going against the wall and so then you have this weird like mobile game on half the screen i don't think that's necessarily youtube short content i know youtube likes to push it i know even tiktok likes to push that i don't think it's necessarily the best youtube short content that the drone footage that is what we should be pushing as shorts that is what we should be pushing as short form content stuff like that that is cool stuff like that that is just next level there is effort behind it there's attempt behind it that needs to be pushed more then yeah, YouTube shorts is also kind of weird right now. I don't know how copyright works with it because it's similar on TikTok where I have people on, you know, there's t- people on TikTok that'll just upload entire Peaky Blinders shorts. Um, they'll upload anime shorts. They'll upload content that generally is copyrighted. And if I uploaded it in a long form video like this, I would get bopped with demonetization. Well, not as long. I would get bopped with copyright, right? And I think I get it. That's that's the game you play with YouTube. Sometimes a company will also just target you, and you're like, okay, well, show me the paperwork, and they never show you the paperwork, and you're like, well, I, I'm I'm telling you, you're gonna have to send legal action because you keep wanting to do this. So clearly, you want to push legal action. So get your legal team on that, right? And you know, shorts is such an unregulated. People, I've heard people finding full on eighteen plus content, and just no no. Nothing at all in the ways of censorship, just full visibility in YouTube shorts. And I'm sure it exists on TikTok as well. And you have and this goes into, you know, YouTube rabbit holes. Like I know Mudahar from Sword Gamers covered, you know, uh how YouTube just seems to have issues with people and not being nice to animals. Wink wink, YouTube manual reviewer. And if anything, that's a problem with the platform. The prop the, the, these are problems. When you have content like this that is I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I don't even think controversial is the right word. That's just outright negative or just kind of isn't played fair with copyright. It just doesn't. Why does someone like me, all right, have to get bullied, harassed, etc., in regards to certain copyright things? And that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I will play the game. I can't necessarily upload an entire track of Sabaton and not have uh, whoever owns the right to Sabaton's music, whoever the distributor is, trying to copyright me. Fair. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't upload the entirety of Father. And like, you know, like the lyric videos back uh, way back, you know, early YouTube, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, RSMVs, right? Yeah, maybe I can't do that. Maybe I should do drone content like that i could do transformative content i could do content like badger martin cedar pants rush uh bad electrician i could do content like that and i don't have to re-upload content like that so it gets weird when what's pushed is south park re-uploads family guy re-uploads american dad re-uploads and uh, uh, uh just a number of other things that don't quite make sense with copyright. I, I guess that's my little TED talk on that issue is that YouTube shorts and TikToks are kind of weird. TikTok also kind of has a weird, it's got a weird copyright system in comparison to YouTube. It's night and day to me personally, as somebody that kind of uses both um, just things to consider if you were looking at YouTube and you know, the state of the platform, stuff like stuff like that drone footage doesn't seem to push engagement. I don't get that stuff in my feed at least, but what does get pushed in my feed is just, I don't know. Sometimes I go on TikTok and I occasionally get the occasional like Asm Gold reacts clip, and it's just like I don't know. It's, it's, I'm not into it. I want to look at other. I want to look at people doing things. If I want react content. I'll literally work, right? <laughs> I can literally work if I want to watch Asm Gold clips. I'll watch an Asm Gold video. And the, the, also the other thing is you can curate your feed as many times as you want, and sometimes it just doesn't work, right? The amount of times that I've had specific creators that I have told YouTube do not recommend me this creator, and I have to keep just do not do not recommend this channel do not recommend this video do not recommend this kind of video do not recommend this channel we have an issue here just things to think about when you're looking through your shorts and you know maybe you scroll past some things and just you know why is this being pushed why aren't we seeing more creative content why are we not seeing you know more people like badger like fat electric why are we not seeing more people like this what is truly getting pushed in the algorithm and why is YouTube short seemingly a lawless land where you can have full on 18 plus content with seemingly no consequences? Craziest magic card trick. I'll give it one more perfect unshuffle and now it says it twice. Nice. So it's unshuffling the red cards from the black cards. Uh-huh. Do one more. 
and you can see they're Won't unshuffled help. completely. There's some sleight of hand to that. Sleight of hand is always interesting to me. I don't have near enough skill to pull stuff like that off, but it's super cool to me. At the very least, it's entertaining to watch. Something like that, I would watch a YouTube short on. I would absolutely watch a YouTube short on that more than some of the other content I've seen in the algorithm. Uh, nice. Did he make Every it Every day, the student sprints between classes and everybody stops to cheer him on. What a Chad. That's cool. Oh no. <laughs> See, I think that's where a lot of, uh, at least people in my generation, where we have a number of memes where, you know, super eldritch horror, you know, un unseen you know, just force of insanity or whatever. You're cool. I like you. We're getting ta we're getting tacos later, right? Where something like that, it's just like, oh God, get it away from me. There, there's just such this weird. I don't even know if it's. I don't think it's Uncanny Valley, but just like trusting things like that that are just uber cute. That are just. I don't know. I, I've been super just ah, desensitized. Isn't the word. I have been made painfully aware that things that are super cute or made to be cute like that. I generally just don't trust. But if it's, you know, some eldritch monstrosity or some being that exists outside of time, I'm just like, cool. Okay. Let's go get some pizza, bro. Right? That kind of thing. It, it's such a, I wonder. I, I wonder how, you know, Gen Alpha and millennials and stuff, I wonder how, you know, they think of that. Because as far as I'm aware, well, I also fall in between. I'm 95. So I fall in between like a couple different demographics. I'm not Gen X. I'm not a boomer, but I'm not a millennial. It, it's, I'm super, I mean, such a weird pocket i'm kind of just a conglomeration i can talk to boomers identify as a boomer in certain aspects talk to millennials like talk, i can talk to a number of different people but i don't quite have i don't know i don't quite have that distinction maybe it's just me maybe it's just my age bracket maybe it's everybody i'm curious to know the results oh no this yep. guy found a hack so that you can get unlimited gas uh-huh That's not how that works, but okay. Oh yeah. Cool. Look at that. For yeah. some reason, the sensor on the sink works for a different sink. <laughs> God. That's so that funny. That is the end of this video. Are we hope you enjoyed? And I'll see you guys again very very soon. Later. God, that was amazing. Uh I just I don't even know how to handle the sink one. That was funny. The gas one, that could be a super, uh, super intuitive way to pull a prank on a coworker. But you have to be aware that that'll probably lead to somebody being a less than ideal situation. Somebody being in a situation that, you know, they could potentially just kind of kill the car because it could just, just absolutely run out of gas. Right. But I feel that could be something just like, well, look, boss, I filled it up. And then hey, if you have a good relationship with your manager, right. And it's just like, ah, I Really? That, I feel that could have solid prank potential as long as the conditions were right and it wasn't done maliciously. Uh, I digress. What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on, uh, I guess, YouTube short content? What are your shot, uh, thoughts on, uh, you know, have you noticed things that necessarily don't fly on regular YouTube that fly on YouTube shorts and TikTok? Have you also noticed a, uh, you know, just uptick in uh, certain content that uh, usually isn't okay on the platform? I guess, what is your uh, thoughts on uh, the tank? I'm going to go back through some of the clips here. AI, I mean, do you think that just from an apolitical a perspective, just from a looking at a business side of things, looking at a creator side of things, you know, do you think it needs regulation? Do you think that we need policies for this? Do you think that we need a terms of service upgrade? I can tell you as someone that streams on Twitch, AI streams are incredibly popular. They bring in people. How do I compete with someone like AI Jesus or AI Santa Claus that has like a consistent 300 viewers just 24 seven? I, I can't compete with that as much as as little sleep as I'm on. I cannot compete with the power and computing of AI. I, I just can't. If I don't sleep for 24 hours, I'm going to be playing something like Animal Crossing. I'm going to be hitting the wall with the shovel thinking it's the rock, right? So, I mean, that is a discussion that I feel needs to be had, not necessarily pushing for it, 
do we need some sort of regulation? Do we need some sort of, hey, you know, do you need some de-incentivization? Do we need to incentivize IRL creators? Do we need a way to stop this? You know, are we, if it is regulation, are we going for, you know, just a civilian standpoint? Are we going for military? Are we going for business side of things? You know, uh, like how Animal Crossing, once again, Animal Crossing had a whole thing where Nintendo had to issue a statement saying that, you uh, you can't use this for organizational purposes. There was uh, a P- I, I literally forgot this until I was watching videos on it, where you know Joe Biden, prominent public figure, had an Animal Crossing Island. I don't think that's necessarily the right use for the game. I, I don't think that's necessarily fair. But it's not other other people and other politicians and businesses did it well, and that's why Nintendo had come up with an actual statement on it. Do you think that? Uh, it does need to be regulated. Do you think that it doesn't need to be regulated? Just keeping it as apolitical as possible. Just, hey, this this is the reason. I think yes. Yeah, it, it's going a little too far. Businesses are causing issues with it. And if you have not, definitely go check out Daily Dose of Internet. They've put out a lot of great videos. I'm trying to add a lot more context than I have been. Just trying to talk a little bit more, trying to offer my input on this and offer some insights and try to concur this discussion. Thank you for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one.